Today we're going to be making Baby Daisy from Mario Kart Wii. So our first step is to make this thing two bumps, bump bump for her the that part of her hair. And next we're going to make this big U that goes in and then out again. And we're going to do the same on each side, the left and right for her hair. So. Our next step is to make a circle for her pacifier. And around this circle, we're going to make this sort of, uh, yeah, this outer layer on half of the pacifier. Now we're gonna make this line coming from one part of her le hair, and then we're gonna start on the other part of her hair, the other side, and we're gonna make it go into the pacifier not through the pacifier and now we're going to make this line sort of uh like a smile like an upside down smile and we're going to do the same on each side next we're going to make a curve like a big bump for her eyeball and we're going to do the same on the other side now we're going to make our intersecting parts to intersect the white and the black um so we made an intersecting part and then another intersecting part, then a circle, and we fill in the black part. We're gonna do the same on the other side. This part might be a little confusing. Sorry if it is. Um, our next step is going to be making a hump go down and then back connect. Next, I'm, I wanna make it more like a heart, so I wanna make it go in more. But I don't actually think that's the best looking. But first, I'm gonna erase those parts on the side because I had parts going in. And next you see how the heart part is a little bit too hearty. So I want to erase that point there and just connect them, making it look a little bit better. And there's a, a line that's sort of sticking out. I want it to be a little bit cleaner. So I'm going to erase that part. Next we're going to make a line going out uh, for her crown. So a line going out on one side and the line going out on the other side. Our next step is to make a line going up and then a line going down to make like sort of like an angle uh um like an angle um like a triangle sort of angle next we're going to make it go up and then down again uh to make another triangle angle but we have i'm just gonna do that in one sec here i just did it um and next we're gonna do make a line that makes it go up and then on the other part of the line we're going to make the line another line going down that connects to the other part of the crown so i think it looks a little bit lot um the lines stick out some so i'm going to erase that line at the top and just make it a little bit more curvy um i'm going to do i'm also going to clean the um other this um the side of the crown too um and i think uh to make it look a little bit nicer i'm just gonna clean it up a little bit you see i added it okay now we're going to make um an eyelash and we're going to make another eyelash a bigger eyelash and then a smaller eyelash um and then a bigger eyelash than a smaller eyelash uh, because well you can't I don't know if it would look the best if we had two big eyelashes I like it when it's one big eyelash and then a smaller eyelash go on the bottom part now we're gonna make an ear on um, one of the sides of her hair it's not the and then we're gonna do the same on the other side next under the ear we're gonna have this big sort of um, bump for a different part of her hair so that's like her hair sticking out of the back and we're gonna do the same on the other side our next step is going to be to um so you see i just erased that p one part of her chin um her head line and i made this sort of triangle um this triangle is to make some of her hair like fall down from her like uh bun sort of thing we're going to then, so there was a line in, um, at the top of this triangle, so we're going to erase that line so it only becomes like an angle, not really a triangle. Um, 
and we're going to like um, you know make it cleaner nicer we're gonna add that line by the head to make it look a little bit cleaner and nicer um, because we don't want it looking all messy and dotty and spotty you know you know what I mean um, our next step is you know um, well we're going to clean it up like the triangle angle sort of thing it was a triangle not a triangle anymore and our next step is going to be making this sort of a uh, fourth of a circle a quarter of a circle and at one side of the passive fire and then going up to her head by her chin and we're going to do the same on the other side it starts at her chin and then goes to the pacifier now we're going to make this sort of c not going the correct way and now we're going to make um a c going the correct way for her shoulders now we're going to make um a line going down at a sort of angle you don't have to make it at an angle i decided to make it at an angle so you can make it two lines like so on each side the left and the right now we're going to make a hoop and then we're going to make an so a hoop at the side to add more like like it's sort of a skirt that's going around her whole body and then we're going to make a hoop uh going the other way and now we're going to make a lot of hoops and now we're going to make another hoop so it looks like it's going around her whole body like so once we have done that we're going to need to do that uh around her again because so we look like she too has like two frizzly things i don't actually know if you need to do that i just decided to but first i'm going to clean up that little part in her skirt and then we're going to add those little frizzly things to um you don't have to i decided to um and our next step is to make is to erase a little bit there and then just like connect it um a little bit nicer um for like so and our next step is going to be to make some three bumps on that on one side um on the left side and then we're going to do the same on the right side this is where her legs are going to come out so um we're just making those f for her and then on the left one we're going to make a line going down and this um and for her left leg we're um we're going to make another line going down next we're going to um, make this sort of bump for her foot, um, kind of, the bump-ish, I don't know, yeah, something like that. Now, on the right side leg, we're going to make a line going down, and then the same on the other side of her right leg. Um, next, we're going to make another bump, but it's going to go a different way, so her feet are going to be in two different position positions for this, um, drawing. So, and then we're going to make this line sort of thing going like that um, for, and then we're going to make a line going down and then um, another line going down for the strap of her shoe. So you see how I did that? And now we're going to do it, we're going to make the same type of shoe, uh, but first we're going to need to make another line under that. I think that's optional. I decided to do it. And now next we're going to make it going down and a hump around the left foot and we're going to then do um, one line for the strap and the other, another line for the strap. This left one is going to be different than her right shoe. Well it's going to be the same shoe just different positions. So we finished making that strap part and now we're going to make the thing going around her I'm like we did last time. That is optional if you don't want to do it. Um, next, we can make a line going down for her shoulders. And um, once we make a line going down on each side of her left, coming down from her left shoulder thing, then we're going to make some bumps for her fingers. We're going to do the same on the other side by making a line going down and then another line going down in just one sec. Um, and then we're going to make like a sort of um so some bumps like so and next we're going to make um her um decoration on her shirt so we're going to make a circle in the 
middle of her shirt and now we're going to make some bumps around it to make it look like a flower because daisy is a certain type of flower and this is baby daisy next we're going to make a c it's not going the correct way but it's on the right side and now we're going to make another c going the correct way um like um for the jewel and now we're going to erase inside and uh, we're going, so the jewel is not fully a half circle yet, so we're going to need connect it to make a half circle. And I want to make it look like it's going in there, so I want to make some lines going out from that, just to make it look, have more dimension, more life like as like life-ism, sort of. And then we're going to do the same on the other side, um, but the C is going the correct way, and then we're going to make a backwards C, uh, and erase the line inside of the C because we don't want it to be a cent sign and now we're going to add that sort of uh, curve to connect it to make a half circle and we're adding that life like is into it um, our next I feel like the jewel I made was a little bit too a little bit different it wasn't as like it was too tall compared to the one on the left so I just made it like a little bit less tall. And now we're going to make a four-sided flower, like one, two, three, four bumps. And then we're gonna add the circle on the inside. Our next step is to make a line um, that connects the flower to the gem on the right side. And we need to make the line up thicker, so we're gonna make that on the bottom half too to make it like a thick line connecting it. We're going to do the same on the other side. We're going to make a line so to connect the left and then we took the left in the middle um, flower and the left jewel in the middle flower and now we're going to make another line and under it and erase the inside of the line. Um, next we're going to make this is optional make a line coming from the left side of the crown to the, the down and now we're going to make from the left um, bump the left corner to go up to the center corner uh, and now we're going to make one coming from the center corner up to the right corner um, these lines are a little thick like are a little thick sort of um, to make a thicker thing to make it more lifelike um, Thank you for watching this video. I, please subscribe and smash that like button.